try and get them to come closer. Hey, what's up guys? It's Kitty Cloudy and today we are taking a look at NFI, the only possible way to experience Android N's features on any Marshmallow or Lollipop device, including this Nexus 5 which is not supported in the beta program. Well, essentially, it's not for everyone since it's an exposed module and to use this you need to be rooted and have the exposed framework installed on your phone and also have an ear stock ROM to avoid bugs and glitches which sounds a bit too much but if you're fine with it you're probably going to like this all right so let's take a look at the features of nfi at number one we have a redesigned notification tray the biggest change here is a set of quick settings which can be accessed without opening the full drawer and as you expand the complete drawer you can see the whole thing takes the complete screen width just like android n but what's missing though is the paginated quick settings and Aside from that, there are also a couple of more things missing in this module, which I will be talking about at the end. Next up, we have redesigned notifications. These two have a fresh new design, which looks really, really nice with the flat style and a gray accent and just looks really simple and minimalistic. Looks really nice to me. And just like the notification shade, these two take the full screen width, even in the lock screen. And moving on, we have a redesigned settings app which includes summarized text like let's say Wi-Fi and Bluetooth shows what I'm connected to the battery setting shows what's my battery percentage and stuff like that also as an icing on the cake the logo which shows up in the Android version Easter egg is the Android N logo doesn't change the Easter egg game but it's a nice little touch and finally we have little things like the screen wide volume controls which brings a consistent look and also quick switch that is you can switch between your recent apps with just two taps on the multitasking button pretty nifty and handy straight out of android n and aside from all of these there has been particularly no effect on performance everything all animations are smooth as they were before also you have the ability to tweak all these features according to your liking in the modules app which ranges a whole bunch of things like enabling or disabling the end logo in the easter egg uh, the double tap speed slider and a whole bunch of stuff like that to really you know customize and tweak all the core features but is that it yes that's basically what you get with nfi and to be honest it, you are missing quite a lot of features which includes uh, multi-window project swelt direct replies night mode and a whole bunch of other stuff which is actually technically impossible for an exposed module to implement in an older version of Android which has a lower API level but you don't need to be disappointed just yet because the developer of this module says that you will get stuff like night mode and direct replies in the next version and uh, if you're looking for something like paginated uh, quick settings and also multi window you can get in get it in a custom ROM like uh, CyanogenMod 13 so I must conclude that using this module does not get you all of the features of Android N but essentially the visual changes of Android N developer preview into your Marshmallow or Lollipop device and, and it lets you get even a slight taste of Android N without even owning a supported device so and specifically for that I think it deserves appreciation. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. And that basically wraps it up. I oh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to